people are trying to say it, it is? Or were expectations so low that it looks better than, than it really was? Is it more of a red hat thing than an IBM thing? How do you put it into context? Sure. I think it's more the latter. Expectations were low and they, uh, and they jumped over those. But if we, if we stand back and look at the absolute results, of course, we're in a pandemic, so everything's going to be depressed. But software is a really important thing. And X Red Hat, the organic software revenue, declined 11 percent uh, year over year. Total company revenues, X Red Hat, X divestitures, declined six and a half percent year over year. And so certainly relative to expectations, that was better. But I think the debate on, on IBM has always been, can this company grow its top line? It hasn't been able to for the last four or five years. I, I think investors are now sort of digesting the earnings and saying, I'm not sure I feel any more confident that IBM, or less confident, that IBM can grow earnings on a go-forward basis. I, I, you know, because the results were pretty tough. You'd expect them to be tough in a, in a virus situation, but just because they beat relatively low expectations doesn't mean that the story is fundamentally inflecting in terms of better growth, which is ultimately what investors need to see from IBM. Not ready then, it sounds like, to suggest people buy the stock. It sounds like maybe this is a no touch for you.